We've chosen this lifestyle so we can make memories now with our kids. However, we've got one memory that we didn't bargain for. It's like a magic trick, it's gone. We're the Shin Paws and we travel full time in our Prevo bus. Really, that's what we do. It's our home 12 months out of the year. Tomorrow, the goal is to drive over 11 hours to hopefully move back into the bus after nearly seven months. We needed the bus repainted. Our truck was our command central during this time. It's how we took everything we needed for life with us. Well, about halfway through the new paint job, our truck was stolen from the hotel in the middle of the night. We were leaving early the next morning, so unfortunately we had packed it full the night before. Our clothes, school books, work bags, electronics, jewelry, important papers, they were all in the truck. It was a really tough situation. We'd never been violated like that before. Did we get the truck back? What about all our stuff? Will we finally be able to be back in our home by the end of the day? That would be such a huge win for our family after seven months of packing and unpacking and sleeping in other people's beds. Stick around and find out. It's really dark. Good morning. It's like six o'clock. I'm standing on top of the only standable place in this truck. And we got it fully packed. We're about to head out from Margaritaville. And it's finally the day to get the bus. Hi. Oh, it's so nice <laughs> to be up here. Is that, uh, um, yes. Walters? It is. 11 hours. Bagel time. Willis did an amazing job getting everything in. We have this thing shoehorned in in the back. We have room for one toothpick and one toothbrush. That's the amount of space we have. How are you guys feeling about our travel day today? So excited. Finally ready to be back in the coach. It, it almost doesn't feel real. How about you, Sarah? I'm tired and I am already ready to be there even though we have an 11 hour car drive. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day, but we're gonna get through it. How about you, Linda? Yeah, I'm like super giddy. This is awesome. It's been a very long time that we've been out of it. And uh, I'm a little surprised how excited I am. So yeah, I can't wait. I just hope that the excitement doesn't make the day just drag out. We were counting it up earlier. We have been out of the bus for six and a half months. Um, nothing that any of us expected. And during that time, we have had an amazing time, all things considered. We've got to stay in some really cool places. We're on our way to Kentucky. Um, we're gonna stay in the coach tonight. That's our game plan, so long as we get there on time. And we're gonna get to sleep in our own beds for the first time in six and a half months. And everybody is jacked up about that. We're jacked up about new, old man. What? So this is our current situation. The kids are racked out. There's no way to pack this right. It's just always wrong. 
Seeing the back of the truck this full again reminds me of how much we lost. While we did get the truck back, the robbers got everything from clothing to electronics to heirloom jewelry. It was devastating. This journey was way different than anything we could have planned. We cannot wait to pick up the bus and truly have everything in one place again. What's the matter? It's, I'm freezing. I'm going back to the car. You're driving. Yeah, okay. I'm bringing you some stuff back What do you get, you should? Energy bites, peanut butter, and jelly. We're having a very fancy breakfast. This is what the back of our truck looks like. 10.15 and it's officially time for breakfast. Norman can hardly contain himself because I'm making the most amazing platter of peanut butter and jellies. And the jelly's sitting here and Norman's sitting there and you're being a good boy, aren't you? You're being a good boy. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> How are the PB&Js? Really good. Yeah. You got the best bread ever. Yeah, enjoy this bread. Who's excited to sleep in their own bed tonight? I totally am. Hey. How about the back seat? Oh yeah. Any comment? Did all that you guys just <laughs> one more answer? this far in a day and not stop at Bucky's. So we're gonna stretch our legs, need some def, right? Definitely. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> even though we packed some lunch meat for sandwiches, I have a feeling we're gonna end up with some barbecue. Comment if you like Bucky's. Yeah, tell us your favorite thing at Bucky's. What, what can you not resist every time you stop? Shug's weakness is the the nuts. Yeah. Oh, I love those. And I don't buy them every time, but I do love those. Video forward, Shug. Hey, Normie. Dang, look at that car. It's taken all of us to find the deaf at Bucky's, but they have it. Just not every lane and every pump has it. So that's something you don't see every day. At the Bucky's. Mr. Mukow. I'm really oh Normie. Shh, 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 quiet, quiet. Really sorry about where you may or may not be headed right now. So here's what we got at Bucky's. We didn't want a whole pound of sausage, so Sarah got sausage on the stick. Willis got some sort of club. Dad got the beef burrito. And then we got a pulled pork sandwich. And if you don't know, Bucky's has these amazing salads, and I'm actually really excited to eat something kind of healthy um, as we travel. So there you go. That's what we got. And just like that, we have snow. Wow, look at the ice. Kind of unheard of, I think, up here. <laughs> I mean, we're used to seeing this kind of weather, but not in Tennessee. 
We're going to be about two hours out. We're going to be in our van down by the river. I'm just driving. Oh, what's going to happen if you keep doing this? You're living in a van down by the river. <laughs> Linda's is on her hundredth mile in three years of driving, so please be with me. Pray for us. So I'm sitting here thinking about the fact that no one's really been in the coach for six, seven months and how dusty it is. And I wonder if it smells like paint fumes. So I'm a little nervous about that um, because you know me, I'll clean everything off before we even unpack. You all have to wait. And um, I wonder if I'm gonna have to wash like all of our clothes and all of our blankets, you know, everything that's been in there. So, you know, if we have to, it's, it's fixable, but. Uh, I yeah. think it'll be fun. I think it'll absolutely be fine. There's there's gonna be stuff no matter how you slice it. Yeah. But overall, I think we're gonna be just fine and we'll pitch in and get it done. Yeah. We are an hour and 15 minutes away from the bus. Who's excited? Me. Oh, definitely. <laughs> For sure. So, how about you, Norman? Norman's ready to get out of the middle. He's <laughs> laid there the whole day. He is, it, that dog is a travel dog. Do you guys have travel dogs? Who, who travels with a dog? And how does your dog do? Um, Norman is an amazing travel dog. He has logged thousands of hours and uh, he is awesome. So let's talk about what's gonna happen when we get to the bus. Linda, what's your expectation? I'm gonna see how clean it is, right? Like I said, uh, I'm hoping it's not a dusty, dirty mess, but if it is, we're gonna clean it up real quickly, get the heat turned on and, um, and then bring everything in and start the unpacking process. I'm gonna give it a hug. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. What are you going to do, Sarah? I'm going to rush inside and I'm going to jump on my bed to the best of my abilities. Willis? I'm going to unpack the car. Willis, you're so responsible. Yeah. I I'll let you. Jason unpack the car for me. We're all going to unpack the car. We'll be frozen. It's, it's cold. It's very cold. What is it right now? Right now, 32. It says it is 27. Oh, 27, yeah. Ooh. Perfect. Yeah. And it's and only this, getting colder. Yeah, the sun's going the sun's down. Gonna go down. Yeah. Norman's probably spent, what, a third of his life in the snow. I know, he's having flashbacks. He thinks we're back in Breckenridge. I know. Oh, I've missed that sound. We gotta get the lights turned on. We, we don't know what's on, what's off, but we're happy. We're so happy. Now you got power. Oh, I hear it. Now you got power. There's I the screens. Just gotta finish this up and then we're ready for bed. It has been a long day in the car, but we're really excited to have our bus back. And as you can tell, it is beautifully dark. What do you think, guys? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> what? It is so, so, so pretty. It looks great. Willis, what do you think? I think 
it looks just as incredible as the day we left it. Out here in the sun, I'm I'm at a loss for words. I'm so happy to be back. Should it's awesome. She is so beautiful, and um, I mean, I'm just so glad to have it back. So glad to have our house back. So, like, we really get to take off today and do what we want to do as a family, and just be settled and not have to keep packing and unpacking. And it, the paint is incredible. It is so smooth and shiny. It's just beautiful.